Hi, my name is Nicole. And my name is Itzel. We're both um, youth leaders here at the Exchange with Abundant Life Church. And we just want to talk to you a little bit about making steps of faith and how it's impacted in Itzel's life. Um, so a little backstory, Itzel and I have actually known each other for many years. She's a friend of my sister's, Holly, who actually goes here as well. Um, her and I ran into each other a few months ago and um that resulted in itself actually asking for a surf prayer um if you want to go ahead and elaborate more on yeah, that so holly and i have been friends since high school and we reconnected over the summer and um she just i just asked for her to pray for me and being a single mom of three just to pray so god could bathe me in patience and um she welcomed my daughter Chas into uh, the youth group and we came, I, I dropped her off and then, you know, I started getting involved without being super involved. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't, it wasn't until um, one of the group leaders um, that saw something in me to um, help with the uh, exchange group okay and you know who am I to say no <laughs> well that was very brave of you because um it still comes from a, a background of um Catholic right You're, right right um and so it's a little bit different and so she's always had that foundation and always felt that nudge to move forward and seek forward um I definitely like to compare you you know to Peter in the Bible the story of um walking on water that we all know she um has lived in the world just like Peter and has also walked in faith just like Peter. And so a lot of times our carnal mind will take over and we don't realize that um, what's right in front of us is real. You know, God has laid this path for us. He's there to hold our hands. And, you know, we just have to make those first steps and just agree to have our eyes focus on him. But we just automatically fall into our ways and just assume that what the world is telling us is what is right and so i mean it's great of you to go against that and you know bring your kids to church and right. you know let alone not even knowing that someone was gonna you know see a spark in her and ask her to become a youth leader and just the impact that has been on your family and absolutely your your daughter's social life just bringing friends to uh, church here from school as well and that's just so impactful and so we just want to encourage you all that if you're going through a hard situation you may have a very strong faith right now or you may have you know none at all or know someone that you know you just want to pray for to get that that it just takes those little steps even just saying hi to someone and opening up the doors to a conversation or being bold to be like you know what I need help I need prayer and that could be your first step in you know your leap of faith with God and he's going to honor that and he's not going to leave you alone he's going to make sure that you have everything that you're equipped to need um even though it may feel like a blind step once you get there it's really an incredible journey and so we just want to highly encourage you to embrace that and just know that what God has for you is always good um I have a verse for you it's little too as well that also reminded me a lot of you um it comes from Jeremiah 33 3 and it says, this is God's message. The God who made earth made it livable and lasting, knowing everywhere as God. Call to me and I will never leave you and I will answer you. I will tell you marvelous and wonderful things that you could never figure out on your own. I mean, it's so true. We, we can never figure out anything on our own. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, what's missing? God, unless he's in the center of it and you're making your steps toward him and those leaps of faith. So we just encourage you, Abundant Life Church, to just remain faithful. Use this fast and timing to invite God into your heart and, you know, just lead, guide, and direct you in whatever you are praying for or believing for this year. And um, we just want to wish everyone a Happy New Year.